I don't see how we can do it without using the Imperial's help. They are fortified in the crags. We have, like, what, 200 men? Uh, the Count is a little mixed right now. I hear they're still mixing in the Robber Baron's men. There's well, still difficulties there. The last council meeting Arn was in, he pushed to be in charge of... Well, he went back into judi judicial punishment for the... Uh, you got your Healy's on. <clears throat> oh shit, thank you. you know, just... Since we're back into war times with the, with the orcs being around, and he's supposed to be processing all of these robber baron men one by one, he did it himself, but obviously he's not here, and I don't have the authority of Marshall, so I can't process them, so now we're just slowly going through them again. <clears throat> so our men, a man count is changing daily, <laughs> and not in favorable numbers. <clears throat> well, you do have the men that are done for now. The rest, though, are the ones in question. But even then, 200 versus only <clears throat> any soul that would dare enter that horrid place would not know the numbers down there. But the sounds we've all heard, there is hundreds, maybe thousands of them in there now. What's this I'm hearing about cavalry? Cavalry? Uh, something about orc cavalry. I don't know what the fuck people are talking uh, about, but that's the extent I know about it. And <clears throat> if that's it's, the case... This is the first I'm heard, right? <clears throat> I don't know. Something about riders. Regardless. They're built up in the crags, and they supposedly have a dowie there forging for them. That doesn't surprise me much. To be <clears> honest, <throat> there was many people that were taken by the orcs. I suppose mm. they didn't eat him yet, if anything. Well, this is what these greyskins and these lieutenants that we saw were talking about. Well, like, I mean, they are much smarter than regular orcs, and they know the value of a, of a Dawe that can work on, fuck, maybe even siege engines down the line. It seems a lot of work for a single Dalway. They would have had to need maybe if they would have to have the right hands to assist with it. Just needs to point them in the right direction. I mean, even even the knowledge itself. I mean, showing them how to properly build defenses and stuff is plenty. I mean, especially when they have the numbers. True. <clears throat> Very true. Regardless, mm. I don't know what Sordillo's doing. They've just kind of been there. They haven't really. Are they even still there? Mm. Uh, from the reports I have, the camps are still set up, but the rumors <coughs> were that there were there were contracts coming up soon. So, whoever comes in and swoops them up, or maybe they might just leave. They've been purposefully not taking the contracts from the Redots, haven't they? Maybe they think they can squeeze more of them out, but that makes me question who actually hired them, if that's the case. Well, if the contract's coming to an end, they're going to cease their activity, especially with <clears> everything <throat> that had happened recently. Recently being... The Robber Baron War itself. <clears throat> Which uh, they weren't a part of. These that have been spreading. No, but... It still affects business, all the same. You think they would jump on it? Regardless... We're gonna have to check them somehow. <clears throat> They're making their way through the Sabine unchecked. I don't know. If, I, if I'm honest, if they're going through the Sabine forest, the best ones to deal with them would be the elves. <clears throat> well, the rangers were helping us. But they've backed away because of Strider's existence. So now that whole front has opened up. 
Well, then this Strider, then why not we eliminate <clears throat> it so we can have our reinforcements return? I put that to Tang, and he seems adamant that eliminating Strider is a terrible idea. <clears throat> Strider is like Tang, but quicker and stealthier. Then I will give this to the man. If he doesn't kill it, he can bear the responsibility of all the people who die from the orcs when they decide to pillage the city. He has his reasons. Uh, something about the, the the crystals that he has within him. He didn't really go into specifics, but he said it would be dangerous to eliminate him. <clears throat> so... And merely apprehend the, the damn thing. Lock yeah. it away. Were it that simple, I suppose. True. In case of a war forge. <laughs> Find me the handcuffs that can hold a war forge, and I'll go out there myself. <clears throat> Well, you could always uh, dismantle it, more or less. You don't need handcuffs if it doesn't have arms or legs. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'll check in with him, see what he wants to do. <clears throat> How are you holding up? Uh, more or less just keeping an eye on things, rotations of the sort for the building. Mm-hmm. And uh, checking in with some of the nobility over by Cassetto still. Everything's a mess. In regards to some of the men, they're nervous, more or less. <coughs> Our men? able to reach the fauna once. The... I'm, well, the guards in just general. But the marshal missing and still all these <coughs> accusations. We're working as fast as we can on that. We have to kind of wait for our opening, as it were. Are we still on board for that? If this is what you wanted to do, I will support you through it. You know that. we got to find something. I'm hoping more what we're going to find at the vineyard more than anything, but I'm sure going up there could help. <clears throat> Whatever we can gather will be an assistance. That is for sure. But more. we need to attack this in different prongs for sure. If we just rely solely on one, we might lose the opportunity, to say the least. As much as I trust Sarah and her abilities, he might just not have enough of there. <clears throat> Even though that would be the safest place for it, I don't know. Um, I think you might be muted on your side of things. I'm, I'm gonna double check that. <clears throat> uh, I see. Sorry, I should call that sooner. No, oh, that's quite fine. I mistake myself. Ah, there we are. <clears throat> we are alive again. <laughs> um, I mean, this is the only lead I've got. I, I don't know what else to go down. I mean, I, it would make sense. It kind of clicks everything well, together, but... <clears throat> well, whichever point you want to focus on, that will be what our advantages will be then. If you want to do a fuller focus on the vineyard, <clears throat> we can do so. I think a split operation is best while everyone's at the vineyard, Sarah, can move around <clears throat> and hopefully find something herself. While everyone's at the vineyard, we can be up at the keep looking around for anything else <clears throat> that he might be stashing mm. up there. We will have problems, though, if the royal guards find us. Well, <clears throat> supposedly most of them should be down there at the, uh, with whatever the fuck Lardy is doing, but there will be some there still, you are right. <clears throat> there should be around, I think, 40 Royal Guard if they send at least a third of it, them, over there. Maybe more. We'll have to figure out it a way to... should be a small contingent. ...get past them, or at the very least have an excuse or something. <clears throat> I may be able to get us in the barracks, at least. But <clears throat> after that, then we're on our own. That's fine. The the, the outer gates and walls are the hard bit. <clears throat> oh. Might be able to pull a favor or two, but that might be dangerous for them. I'm not sure how willing they'd be after what happened to Stefano. Yeah. yeah, if they're willing to risk themselves, by all means, but let's not press any 
you know, <clears throat> if we push on the wrong person, then it throws everything out. Sure. I mean, you're still technically nobility. You can still walk in. There's just going to be questions. Exactly. We need a reason. I mean, what reason do I have? <clears throat> you could go and inspect prisoners, maybe? That would get us into at least get you in. the custode. I mean, you get into the actual keep itself, remember? <clears throat> maybe something mm. with the barracks. Well, that's at least partial way through. Barracks inspection, you could claim, but that draws way too much attention. Definitely. This party, I'm assuming, is going to be held sometime in the evening, maybe? Or in the day? When will that be? I would assume the evening. <clears throat> but again, I, I don't know what day it is. I've heard in the next couple of days for a while now, so I guess it's weather permitting. From what I'm hearing from the rumors, <clears throat> from what I'm hearing from the rumors, um, some of the servants I see moving about... It looks like it might be happening tomorrow. Okay. Well, we need to come up with an excuse in case we're caught, or a way through to not be caught. <clears throat> well, another option we could do... We could throw a rope from one of the, from the outer walls. I mean, I can, I, I've scaled the walls before. They're not particularly tricky, but that would eliminate all sort of... Oh no, I'm just here to look around, kind of thing. <clears throat> uh, well, it'd be to depend if we're going masked or not, at the end of the day. Well, the idea would be not to be seen at all. Because even if we're unmasked and we are seen, then if something happens, then it's pointed directly to us. And with the suspicions already going around with Arn... <clears throat> and it's masked. Masked it is. We're really gonna so we won't want to be seen at all. And if we... Well, we could have someone throw a rope from the other <clears> side, <throat> but we'd still have to scale not one but two walls in the end. Not to mention scale back down. Uh, the walls seem a little too dangerous, in my opinion. If we could have somebody sneak us <clears throat> inside, that would be the easier route, in my opinion. Hmm... So even a cart would stop in the first courtyard, wouldn't it? Unless it was going directly yes, to the Yes, generally, <clears throat> the first gateway is inspected by a hound. They usually keep some of them in the back. But... Uh, <clears throat> it's not impossible still to get by. Um, what about your brewer, friend? Does he have any orders going up to the keep? I could ask, but I don't really trust him that much, I'll be honest. <clears throat> and I feel like most of his orders would be going to the vineyard, wouldn't it? For a party. Well, it could be going to the vineyard, but there are pretty still nobles ordering their own drinks to bring as gifts and whatnot, if he's received any. This is just a thought, mind you, but if not that... Uh... <clears throat> Either I can reach my own contacts with the guards and see if what they can pull for us to get inside, or if you have some other contacts, we can try it that way. But it's looking like it's going to be one or the other. Let's see what assets are available or at least willing to help us, and that way we can plan from there. I mean, there's no point talking about one or the other if we don't know that we can... <clears throat> you know. Hmm. I'll try to reach out. I won't be able to get you an answer until later tonight. Tosses you an orange. Mm. Thanks. Going out. Be careful. Understood. You too. Um. Okay. Scaling the walls is a no. Going through the front gate only works if we are hidden and gotten in by someone else, or make it very obvious that I'm a noble and I'm doing noble stuff. <clears throat> but then that's... 
They will ask questions. They will. He so will be. <clears throat> we need some sort of excuse. It's not, it's not impossible to get through so much, but you won't be able to enter at least the higher levels of the inner keep, to say the least. At least if we if we get in, <clears throat> then we can start the, you know, the real skullduggery bit. Mm. I could say I'm but you... delivering letters or something, or handing a missive, or... Well, it can be implied you're at the party. That could be an option as well. Good cover. Have you seen there and then disappear through the back, <clears> so to speak? <throat> that would be good, definitely. Well, then that means we're going for the mask route. If I show up at the party, do the noble thing, be all blah 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 blah, blah and then we mask up, get into the keep. <clears throat> and the question is, how do we get to the keep? Unless you had <clears throat> one of your assets lower a rope, but then <sighs> we're back to it. We're going in circles here. Yeah. We could throw a rope, <clears throat> but then again. It's not a hard thing to do, but and it's easy to get rid of, but again, we'd have to be perfectly timed. And it has a lot of extra risk, at least for even us to get out. Getting out, yes. <clears throat> Let's take some time today to think on it. I'll mull it over in my head and see mm. what I can come up with. <clears throat> This might all be a moot point if Sarah grabs what we need, but still. Uh, wasn't one of the main objectives within the keep to find things about an individual we both should <clears throat> be concerned about as well? Yeah, I mean, grabbing anything we can. <clears throat> Especially on Kovaz or Sarkozy. A few other documents. <clears throat> It's not too hard to get from the barracks into the main... I mean, it's a doorway, isn't it? <clears throat> but there'd be men in there. From what I've se from what I've seen every time I've entered, there is a servant's quarters at the end of the hallway. I've poked my head once in a while, but not <clears throat> really ventured myself. I wouldn't know the way. I have seen guards go through and out, so it is somewhat guarded, <coughs> so to speak, but uh... Alright, I'll think on it. Come up with a plan. Mm. If you find anything that's like, oh shit, wait, I just have a key or something, that'd be great. Just <laughs> let me know. <clears throat> oh, speaking of keys, do you have the one I gave you? Yes. I made a copy. Just for you. Perfect. Oh, you shouldn't have. <clears throat> that is what you asked me to do. <laughs> Let me just put my armor you on. You me that, but I was thinking... <laughs> Alright. I'll what go you... get mine as well, then. <clears throat> Any big plans for today? Uh, make sure you don't get stabbed, I think, is a pretty prevalent plan I have today. I'm honestly surprised you haven't been stabbed yet. The way our track <clears throat> yeah. Hot for it. <clears throat> Should we see what the city's doing? 
Oh, if we must, maybe <laughs> we might walk out and brimstone will be raining from the sky. It, it like a, a a rock will fall and and it'll make like a perfect staircase up to the keep for us. Ah. <sighs> Uh, Even probably. the heavens themselves demand we <clears throat> <laughs> and pillage the key. <sighs> well, it's not raining anymore. Oh, to be honest, I kind of miss it. Yeah, me too. Even if it was bright as fuck. <clears throat> the water, though, was quite horrifying to see the waves that high. Oh yeah, I was watching the top of the ships rocking backwards and forwards. Like they were gonna fall over. I'm curious why those ships are still here. Which ones? Guardian warships. Oh, from the War Wharf? Mm. I don't know, I heard they had something about pirates, but that was the extent of my knowledge of it. <clears throat> but as far as I've seen in any reports, there has been no pirate activity in Narsus, as far as I can as far as the records go. Hmm. <clears throat> I just heard them talking to the Castilian when they first showed up. Something about pirates, and that's all I know. They didn't stick around. <clears throat> Still strange. <clears throat> yeah. Might be keeping an eye, making sure you know things are stable. If they're coming from the war, war if they're probably connected to the council. Oh, most definitely they're connected to the council. I wouldn't be surprised about that at all. Hmm. My, what I heard is one of the prides of the the naval military. That ship right there. <laughs> yeah, well, that pride nearly got fucking me. sunk by the Imperials when it showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think my money I'd have to bet on the Guardians for that. And <clears throat> a full on barrage fight. That'd be fun to watch. Uh, two massive warships, and then two, uh, what would you call those, smaller warships? I am not sure the name of them, but <clears throat> fully engaged in warfare. <laughs> I'd like to watch it from the shoreline. <laughs> nice and safe. I wouldn't even want to watch <clears throat> it from the shoreline, to be honest. I would want to be much inland. Maybe like from the keep? No, I wouldn't even say the keep is too much of a target. <clears throat> the beach, deeper down the line, I would say. That would be preferred. <laughs> Takes one sh stray shell and you're done. Isn't that just normal, though? Oh, but when they are literally peppering the sky. Hmm. Oh, the wall's done. Uh, I wouldn't say done. They finished the archway. They're still <clears> working <throat> on the other side, still. You've been in a siege before, right? No, oh, too many. Yeah. Well, those rumors of the Cyclops still have my concern, to say the least. The Inquisitor was saying, it's so tall it could rest its cock on the walls. When you're in rumors, apparently there's more than one now, apparently. There's a small juvenile, and then there was the massive one that they've been talking about, the big one. <clears throat> From what I heard. Uh, can we go up here? Uh, I believe we would still have this limited access with the guards, with everything happening. But you can I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Interesting. Uh. 
<sighs> Gonna be honest, Tibbs. I don't really want to end up in mm. another siege. If I'm being honest, we should expect it with the orc threat the way they are massing. <clears throat> really think they'd push this far? We've seen it already. Just out beyond the fields here. Hiding sure. in ambush. But raiding is one thing. <clears throat> Laying siege to a town. They have war trolls, Kyler. They will pepper this place as much as they need. I wouldn't be surprised if they marched down with they had the siege equipment you speak of. Uh, that was a theory. Yeah, but why would they, is what I'm getting at. Mm. What's their end goal? Chaos? Because... Maybe you know, slaughtering the, this place of food? I mean, sure, but that, get... that amount of numbers... <clears throat> they do get plenty of food. I would say, yeah, sure, it's all for, like, the thrill of the hunt and, and killing and, and eating food and eating the people and things like that, but we know that they have a smarter leadership. We know that they have lieutenants. So there's an end goal to this. Well, we still hear reports <clears throat> of still orcs coming down the mountain way, so... What is pushing them all out in this direction <clears throat> in the first place? Well, the only reason they can move through the mountains unchecked is because of what's happening at Von Folder with those uh, creatures. <clears throat> now that those gate, those ways are open, they can move pretty much unchecked into the province. But why is the question why you write? <clears throat> There's supposed to be some sort of big shot war boss. Who is, who was at least several months ago when I was overhearing it, on his way here, which is what the lieutenants were worried about. <clears throat> but then again, mm -hmm. why? <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, that inner keep is <laughs> very defensible. It's more about the people down here I'm worried. Yeah. Down here. Mm -hmm. uh, hey there, Lord. I'm, I'm not sure your name. Um, Private. I'm Private Grimhart with the guard. Mm. Actually, I'm not sure if I recognize you. Uh, we, I'm investigating a lead. Uh, we had a cart stolen today. A cart? I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. Mm. No. Didn't see anything. It had a bunch of uh, armor and uh, ingots. Gotcha. No. Um, inside all morning. Well, who, who did it belong to? If anyone comes to you about it, uh, there's a new guy in town, uh, Samuel. He's from, uh, was it Narborough? Narborough? He's up north hmm. uh, at the border. They come all the way here with armor and ingots worth about five, six gold. Oof. Taken. So, just like that. Day one of Nortis stolen. Just like that. Oh, they, were, they were celebrating Ooh. at the tavern. They were going to make their way. This was just a pit stop. <laughs> stolen. God. Can't have shit in Nortis. Um, no, I, I didn't see anything. I saw anyway. the, the tail end of a cart leaving, but that's. I don't know if that was the same one or it was. I thought Imperials were on it or something. Maybe. Hard to tell. Yeah, so, just if anyone comes to you. Um, anyway, Samuel says he makes armor, so, uh... Good to know. I want to inquire. Might bring him into the blacksmith, then, <laughs> if he's interested. Unless you have anything uh, for me, Lord, I can, uh... uh, uh, uh see, is everything good up here? We're just inspecting the walls the wall. and mulling over the orc threat. Don't really want to be in a siege, but... Well, oh. Walls would help. <laughs> uh, need me to relay anything to the, the guard? I think we're fine. We're just checking the progress and such. Alright. Y'all take it easy. And you. Mm. Hey, private. Good work, private. I... <clears throat> My god. Four or five gold. And you're swinging through Nortis. And <sighs> immediately stolen. 
<sighs> well, they didn't have a put ne man named the Robber Baron for a reason, I guess. That's true. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Poor <Bye>. man. <laughs> uh, what kind of town wrong, are we living wrong place, in? Wrong time. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't want to raise I mean, any kids here. To be fair, when I arrived here, I was immediately in prison. So I was thinking that about that, yeah. I forget that that's how we met. Mm. <clears throat> I'm finding a tendency. Some of my closest individuals find themselves in jail lately, more often than not. I actually know I was in jail. <laughs> I was arrested mm, and then... Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. But I beat you to it. You did. Literally. Well, actually, yeah, no. I was about to say, I've been in jail quite a few times growing up, but you're also quite older than me, aren't you? So, I would assume. I was born. <laughs> that, true, true, true. All right, all right, all right. I'll stop the dick measuring contest then. <laughs> if we start measuring, mine will fall on the wall like this Cyclops here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, right, I, I concede. <clears throat> but either way... Even if it's not the Orcs, for example, right? Okay, sure. The Let's pecs. say it's the Vapex. But there's something still bothering <clears throat> me about all that. Mm -hmm. The activity is just strange to me. Flooding the market with fake silver. At least reprinted silver. They close the bridge off almost in totality, the cross. The activities are just peculiar in my mind. Oh, I just made another connection. What? The woodworkers were coming to me the other day, and they were saying that some of the noble people were paying them much, much, much less than what the wood was worth. <clears throat> if these are the same noble involved in this group that we're thinking about, that would also explain... They're just trying to s destabilize and slow shit down, aren't they? That would make sense. But then why the Imperials <clears throat> here? As well, there's an entire apparent garrison in the pack that are entirely different individuals. Exactly, these are apparently rejects here. Every single imp here is some sort of... They did something wrong, or they maybe they're not trustworthy, maybe they're trying to thin the ranks. Cut the wheat from the chaff, I don't know. <clears throat> it's more imperial business, but I know... I know that the Major is concerned about it, and I know his Inquisitor friend is concerned about it, too. To the point where they're looking for these sorts of people. <clears throat> Spies, as they called them. Other Imperials. If they're spying, it means they're wanting to know the activities taking place by the Imperials here. Mm -hmm. And if that's so, that means they're not entirely reliant on the reports. In my mind, that means they have... Maybe a sinister thought about the Imperials here? Probably. That's the first thing that crosses my mind. Well, they are concerned about it either way. All I know is that these people are causing instability in the province. <laughs> Sounds like I'm needed. <clears throat> it does sound like it indeed. Were you yelling no. at me? No. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Everyone's yelling at me, even the fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if whoever it is is by the forge. Uh, it was the voice of the new arrival. 
was it? I said maybe. Oh. Very angry, which is very understandable. Uh, he has some sort of voodoo sorcery thing set up. Oh, I'm just... Excuse me. Uh, is that the drow over there? Yeah. Windows. Oh, there you go. Which one? That is the least manly looking drow we'll 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 Oh, this will be good. Okay. It looks like he's built out of fucking. Hello. My name is Samuel Lochner. I've. Come from a great yeah, deal away yeah. as we received word that this town was in need of an armor smith. Mm -hmm. And um, there he is. Oh god, there's a whole of them multiplied. As you take the scroll, Kyler, <clears throat> you'll note that there's a strange stamp on it, one that you don't recognize. You open it up, and it's very. Um, <clears throat> Clean handwriting, uh, obviously in common and cursive, but states the following: <clears> that <throat> the man before you is Samuel Lochner. He is a well-esteemed armor smith from Narbeth Fortress to the far north of Gradia. He has been sent out to gain experience and to continue honing his craft before he comes home and continues arming the men and women of the province and the Darbarag. He is responding to a call that was put out by Nodis and one of the merchants here, and has come seeking employment of himself. <clears throat> Signed. By one Emir. Samaras. Hmm. Well... Welcome to Nautis. Uh, as you've probably guessed, I'm the blacksmith. Yes. I heard about your car. Quite a welcome it's been. Yes. Yeah. We uh, had an unfortunate incident where our cart was uh, stolen from us, not outside the tavern, not five, ten minutes ago. Several suits of plates, steel, iron ingots, several golds worth, all taken by whatever fucking yokel stole it. <clears throat> So I'm. I do apologize. I'll be a little bit on the back foot because um, my tools were on there. That's fine. So. We have uh, we have tools to share. Um, yeah, we've been in the need for an armorsmith for for a while now. You'll have plenty of work here. Um, I can tell just looking at some of the people I've seen armored running around here. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's we're in a bit of a state right now. I mean, even the guards could use a bit of a touch up, right? <laughs> uh, definitely. <laughs> the blacksmith. Uh, is is this a for weeks? <clears throat> oh, drow operation? Just out of curiosity. Uh, uh, you're the first yeah. drow armorsmith I've seen. Well, I'm or a weaponsmith. I've seen, I should say. <laughs> That's why we need the armorsmith. No, um, this was owned by my father, and he passed it on to me when he took over the role of marshal, um, and I run it when I have the time. So having an extra pair of hair, hands around would be You're a noble handy. Then. I am, yes. What, what, a what? Noble. You don't. What the fuck? You don't dress like any noble I've ever seen. Thank you. JBS one. Uh, oh, good luck, Samuel. I'm gonna go get my room and try to find a fucking car. <clears throat> Thanks. You got this, big man. We believe in you. Yep, yep. Good luck. Don't get shanked in the dark. Yeah, here. Oh, I probably will. Uh, there's another. Jeez, oh, they're all over. So, <laughs> what's the uh, contract arrangement to utilize the tools and the space? Um. Well, truthfully, I, I didn't think anyone would be coming for a while. But um. Well, you can borrow the tools until you make your own. I won't force you to buy them. But until then, um. We get a slow, and I mean slow, supply of iron um, to the forge itself. I'm sure if you need them specifically, you can put an order in for yourself, or if I have a little extra, I can slide some your way, whatever. We're working as a forge in itself. It's kind of a communal pool? Uh, okay. Something like that, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, your tools and everything you need are here to get started. Um, have a few do you, iron do you just leave it 
sitting out all night or do you lock it up concerning the thieving problem? We tend to lock up the more valuable things mm. inside the house itself. <laughs> um, though a lot of the well, things... I mean, the majority of it is kind of... Display. Just around. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, there's, sure. still, there's still armor, weapons. It's, it's, there's still weapons, kind of. Yes. Um... <laughs> When's the last? When's the last time you had your armor looked at? Uh, probably since I had the smith up top uh, size it to me. Some, you have rivets loose on your shoulder plate. <clears throat> you want to take care of that sooner rather than later. Uh, honestly, I'm looking for I... steel over this iron. No offense. Uh, don't they all? So, okay, so kind of a communal pool for the base supplies it sounds like somewhat requests if we have we help each other yeah no percentage taken I'm, I'm assuming from sales whatever we sell is ours supplies we kick back towards into yeah i mean as what long as range? your armor stuff i mean i can't do it so it's only fair that you take the cut from that um your commission or whatever it is weapons or tools and such like that i can handle um <clears throat> But, mm -hmm. I mean, I know how to swing a hammer, I know how to melt things, so if you need assistance with anything what you're doing, I can help out a little bit with that, sure. too. Um, I do kind of do my own thing. I do have a, a groove <clears throat> I get into that yeah, sure. things yeah. need to be quite right. I understand. But I take that on if, if I could also return the favor, if I uh, you know, happen to be smelting a bunch of iron <clears throat> ingots, uh, sure. I can also f add yours on the list and set them aside that are yours. Absolutely. I just want to know where to leave them, because... Iron, from my understanding, <clears throat> like you said, is pretty rare. Yeah. And you don't just want to leave that line around. No, I mean, for the most part, it's fine. Um, okay. Yeah, How can... would you say the clientele are here? You you get poor, rich? Uh, middle, class? middle class, more than anything. Uh, the occasional poor person wanting a, a fishing knife or a lot of sharpenings we get. Um, bit of that. But if people learn that there's an armor in town, you'll probably get an influx right away, I'll be honest. I mean... Um, with what supplies i if i had them on me <clears throat> yeah <laughs> I, I i was ready to start um any thoughts about upgrading your forge upgrading <clears throat> what do you want to do with it make it better have better heat retention make it get a build blows on the side various things like that hey, i wouldn't say no uh truthfully my activities are usually split between uh <laughs> doing lordling work and a little bit of this. This is kind of my off-time work. So if you think it'd be a better investment to invest in the forge, we can <clears throat> we can talk about that. So for, forgive me. Uh, do I also need to call you my lord? <laughs> I, I, you, you are a lord. Yes, technically. I, I've had, <laughs> but I won't. So I'm not going to crucify you lord, over it or anything. <laughs> you're saying this is your hobby. It's a fitting hobby of a lord. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> well, I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, if you can, if you think you're, you're probably, honestly, you're probably a better smith than I am. I've only been doing this three, four years, so. Uh, a little longer than you, but not much. <clears throat> I've been doing it for about eight years. So it's wow. not too long. <laughs> but I've been doing about eight years. <clears throat> okay. Um, um, so yeah. I know my way around. I, I mean, I can get started on, on some stuff, but... Uh, until the whole thing is resolved, I won't have anything. I also don't know my way around very well, so yep. I, I, I think that's your market. <clears throat> yeah, um, um, spend today, just get yourself situated, cool down, hopefully you find your supplies and such, um, so you can work from that. If not, we'll work something out, we'll talk to some merchants and whatnot and get you up on your feet. Um, just kind of situate yourself I mean, a bit today sure. and... Yeah, we'll like you said, if you have a backlog, then... <clears throat> Of people who've been needing, I'm sure they will find me oh. soon enough. Hello. Oh yeah. Good morning. Put the mm. word out, and they'll definitely Just come running. Speaking me like you don't know me. Hmm? <clears throat> yes. Oh. That's true. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Say hello to the new armor smith. Yes. Oh. So I've yeah. heard. Mm. When might your father be coming by? Out of that? curiosity. Uh, he's. I know you said he's the marshal. He's probably equally as busy. So he's very busy right now. I don't know when he'll be returning. He's out of town. <clears throat> really, very good. In really bad. Mm. Mm. Pleasure. Uh, Are you looking Celine. for something commissioned, Celine? No, nice to meet you. no. Um, uh, mercenary. Uh, 
staying here part-time, actual houses over there, but uh, yes. mercenary. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Speaking of housing around here, how uh, how bad is it? I know you have your <clears throat> fortress, as I see your your iron mm. bars on your windows. <laughs> Good fucking luck. Yes, very much so, especially the flux of refugees have been pulling in. Good luck. I see. Very good. <clears throat> I'm just curious if they're going to do the usual gouging for, for newcomers. Probably. Mm. Uh, yeah, Not probably. the kind of strangers, so... Yes. Well, I uh, look forward to working on anyone's armor to get it back up to ship shape or place an order so I can get started. I just don't have any supplies. <laughs> So, do you even have the tools to be working with? I'm being graciously lended by the Lord here. The, the use of the tools of the forge until I can reacquire my own. God, I hope those guards come up with something. Can't believe someone <laughs> brazenly walk into the middle of the area near the tavern, just hop on a cart and just ride off of it. How long have you been worst. in notice for when that happens? A uh, couple minutes? <laughs> Five minutes. Five, five minutes. minutes. Uh, oh, five I'm, minutes. I'm, I shouldn't love it. I was in the cabin <laughs> a drink. Yeah, actually, honestly, it does. It really does. I honestly, shouldn't love if you had parked it on one of the back streets, you probably had one or two. <clears throat> and you would probably be dead next to it. Okay. True. Any parts of town I should avoid. <laughs> Stab his alley. A bad part of town. Which is all the alleyways. <laughs> All, All the other alleyways. Especially this yeah. one, right oh, here. This one. That one oh. and the one next to it as well. These two are the worst. Yeah, the, the one with the wall where there's no wall. <laughs> so where they could just yes. leave immediately. Correct. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. So don't go that way. Stick to the main roads. Hey, you you Did all you wear know your... Did you back uh... door that leads directly to that street? I didn't know. Why yeah. are you telling big, me this? Big... Well, there's a big double door, actually, that leads to the back street, but a single door that leads to the front street. It's a little bit of a weird design. We, we probably want to get a bar for that. Might be a good that idea. Just, Might be just a good idea. Though anyone who comes so inside, I don't think door. they're going to have a good time. What? Oh, no, they're going to die. Break up, just break up the back door so there is no back door. Just brick it up. Put, put bricks. Mm. Option, maybe. I also have an extra door upstairs that leads to nothing. I think oh, it's like who barred designed off. this town? Your yeah, house is haunted. Well, I it's it was walled a off. Oh, maybe. It's just I can't get the door open. It's like maybe jam. This, this door doesn't go anywhere. I think it's actually it's blocked. a closet. It, it, Doors. <laughs> <are bad. laughs> I'm just walking door into the house yeah. of it, trying to like bang my way through the closet. <laughs> maybe it's a door into another person's house. That might be it. Well, that's oh what God. I, that's what I think. Maybe like, it, it actually leads into the building next door if I actually opened it. But it's like oh, it's like one of those uh, the, those the taverns uh, places nowhere, where they have no. I uh, huh. hopefully don't suck you in. Just out the other side, wherever that goes. Man, I'd hate to be sucked in. Hmm. Man, sucking. Well, you are a busy lord. I do not <clears> wish <throat> to keep you. Thank you for grace hiring any paperwork you need to send the Martin Skill. Uh, you wrong wrong might want to swing over there yourself. Uh, that way you could introduce yourselves and let them know Everything. that there's an armorsmith what? in town. What? If they have anything they no, want you to sign. Sure. You might be able to buy some iron or some mm -hmm. tools from them fair. too. Yeah, I don't know if you have any coin on you, but... Oh, you I'm left all your coin in the cards. Promises. Yourself, really? <laughs> I have some. Maybe not enough to buy iron. Bit. Mm. Well, then, okay, <laughs> yeah, but enough to pay. You could you, you put an order in, tomorrow. pay back on on tap, blah blah blah. You know, you could handle that. Oh no no no! Like That's that. how you get yourself into debt He's and then a slave. No no no! You don't do that in Gradia. Okay okay fine. You do have a point. Well, good luck. I'll be around if you need anything. I think I do typically make a good point. Yes. I didn't know if you needed to be there to put like your signature on it that I officially hired and <laughs> let's get you let's get you or I can get the paperwork from the merchants guild sign it bring it to you you yep. sign and yep. then go from there that works okay <clears throat> works for me very good well I will go do that then thank you very much <clears throat> nice to meet you Celine. nice to luck. meet you Tiberius 
Tiberius. Very good. And Lord you Erhard. actually said your name, I think, and I've already forgot. Lord Erhard. Oh, Kyler Perfect. is fine. Perfect. You remembered the lady's name. I see what kind of man you are. I figured it out already. Well, they're the important mm. ones. Um, mm -hmm. The Grodian by heart, right there. Mm, truly. <laughs> All right. I'll be I'll be back later. Take care, Samuel. <clears throat> oh, Joel. Hey, Dredge. What me? Um, Dredge. Just letting you know, uh, me, El, Dorothy, all might be uh, playing liars dice later. If you want to join, invitations open. Ooh, I don't know if I feel like losing Easy. my money. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Well, we have to teach El how to play first, so, uh... We played, we played before! a few rounds without money. Mm. Yeah, L? Oh, L. L, I thought you meant me. I'm like, no, no, I'm a, I'm a gun at Liar's Dice. No, no. <laughs> oh, I know, I think you and, a, you and me and Dory are the only ones who are good at it. I'm a dice time. shark, yeah, no. Um, yeah, no, a couple mm. rounds. We'll see, we'll see how we go. Uh, we'll see. Hmm. Well, yeah, a few rounds without money, so we at least get L used to the game before we start swip swiping money. A, a, tr a true Guardian would just take her money straight away. I heard swindling come out of his mouth. I heard it. I heard, I heard it, too. Mm. I definitely did. What? Swindle? Yes, Dread? Sure no. <laughs> I am the most honest, law-abiding, mm. heroic CDC mm. in Norris. <laughs> By the way, you want to play Liar's Dice? I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remind me why I saved you. <laughs> <laughs> God, okay. You know what, just, just for all of this, should we teach him to play as well? Tibbs, you want to learn uh, how to play like Liar's Dice? Idea. You want to lose your money? Well, I, thought, I, was, I was like... I'm quite happy. Tiberius, 99% of gamblers days. quit just before their really big win. So if you sign up now, you get ahead of it. I'm no, I'm I'm <laughs> quite fine. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly I'll take your works. example on this one. <laughs> Not participating in losing my coin. He's Thank going. You. What do you mean you're taking he's... his example? He's <laughs> participating. Oh, are you now? I got a lot of money to lose. <laughs> All right, then. Good. I'm not. I'm not going to go wow. by that example. Then. Chicken You're a horrible. Aren't you supposed to be protecting him and keeping an eye on him? What if I someone stabs me and him, then takes my money? Wow. You're not I'll protecting next him. You're going to leave him all by himself <laughs> over there with big old dread. Uh, all right, I will stand next to you to make sure you don't get stabbed, but I won't participate. I'll give you some play money. No, make sure he doesn't get stabbed. <clears throat> that's not the game where you get stabbed, that's halfling poker. Yeah. <laughs> I can share my party trick. What if I did my party trick? Have you seen my party oh, yeah. trick? Party trick. party trick? Party trick? What? Huh? Yeah. Five finger fillet. Oh. It's yeah, I'm really good at it. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh. I'm really good at it. <clears throat> oh, that's just what I need. Your sometime. father comes back one day and says, <laughs> What happened to my son's fingers? <laughs> he lost three of them. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. It was a horrible knife accident, Look, my lord. I, if, I, if I remember correctly, we were very drunk, but if I remember correctly, I volunteered for the party trick and it went fine. Did, I, I stabbed Soma, if I recall. Yeah. You stabbed so much. We're speaking oh, yeah, so casually about this, like it's no problem at all. Oh yes, I stabbed the doctor, and it was. It was my party okay. trick. It was the and, and, this, and this is the type of tricks in games. Your party trick was stabbing the doctor. I will make this doctor I mean, disappear. You're not stabbing yourself, you're just spending money. Or losing it. Or losing it. Spending money, spending money or losing it. You're paying for the experience. No, no, you're losing it. I don't think you'd actually win. I don't think you'd actually win. I don't remember being there for that. You're paying for the experience, uh, I gamble with my own life every day. Come on. True. <laughs> I gamble with your life every day, too. Yeah. True, he does. Yeah. I'm still here. One, he so? I'm lucky, I'm good. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the doctor. 
All right. Wow. I'll, that play, means he's I'll play lucky. if you join us. I'll jo <laughs> if you join us, I'll play. That's Please going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and you fucking know it. Yeah. Why not? What, what's wrong? You got other plans? <laughs> yeah, I have other plans. <laughs> I have a job. You have to go ask Mittens for him. His permission to set me free. <clears throat> Well, if they play later, then they play it a few times. times. Yeah, may maybe if they play later, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, for those of you that didn't catch it, we have an armor smith in town now. Town He's getting to set up today, yeah, yeah. so if you oh, need armor see, repaired or fixed or made or shields yeah, or anything like that, like his name's Samuel. He's blonde. Are these really bad yeah. luck? Does he work for you? No, uh, or can he... I leave? Uh, no, no, I mean, oh, the part that he should be yeah, we have like a little he's joint. Uh, really no, we have a joint little he thing going. Ruins the armor. <clears throat> oh, true. All right. Uh, then uh, I'll make sure he knows the uh, uh, how that the deal that's works. Really bad yep. <clears throat> you got it. Oh, I mean, Mittens mm. kind of does too, yeah. Oh, does he? Mm. I'll let you, I mean, kind of, I'll yeah. you know when we're all going to play. Mm. I think it'd be sometime evening. Okay, yeah, I'll see if I'm not busy. Because I know, I know I you mean, just all considering. Like... <laughs> mm. <sighs> Still not doing uh, the boards as of Considering the last few jobs that we've had from him? <laughs> yes. Bad luck. Mm. <sighs> I don't know which one it is. You or you? What? Uh, what? He's the one that looks more like a lord, but you're the one that looks... I... Mm. Oh, that actually <laughs> happened. It finally happened. It finally happened. Congratulations. Bye. Good luck. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. The people have spoken, Tiberius. <laughs> it is a person of people. <laughs> Well, I, I think the Merchant Guild <laughs> appears to be on lunch, the so there's no one there some, to, uh... I, I I'll, I'll, I'll get the paperwork drawn up. Sure. I, I tried Were you to, trying to, to speak ask... in my head. I yeah, did, you're on the wrong mic, I think. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Give me a... Because I heard, I heard, I heard little yap this. yap noises, yes. and it was very quiet, and I didn't know that it was you or... One of the dwarven lads, the one that's with the guards, informed me that you have a shrine within your estate, one towards my ancestors. I hear it was something to do with the late long Yeah, it's less in my estate and in the house over, if you'd want to... So long as no, I can gain back, permission sure to simply offer my player to the site, that will do me fun. Um, I don't know so, if know, I even have the key to the place good, anymore. Okay. I might, oh, there you are. Perfect. might be able to get you in. Um, I don't know if it belongs to the city right now, but if you wanted to come and have a look at it. I believe, from what I can see, I'm assuming it's still part of your license, given it's all in your land. Um, well, let's, yeah, if you want to... Come on. coming here. I'm still desperate for oh. steel. There's a short talk I wish to have with you later. Yeah. I'll uh, find you directly after this. Oh, yeah. uh, later, later? Very good. Okay. That's fair. Didn't have to be, but I assumed you were busy. Wait, didn't he die? <clears throat> So this must have been... This was the establishment of the company of the dwarves, yes. They left when their thane regrettably passed away. I see. Hmm. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's the only one I know of, but if I can't access it, then yeah, I'll have to the find key. another. But... <clears throat> Should be to the right. I'm just going to talk with Venora real quick, and I'll be right in there with you. Very well. Thank you, lad. 
Uh, were you able to make that small pry bar? Yes, it's um, it'll be on the counter. You should be able to find okay. it. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's all I need to ask. Is sure. there anything that you need from me? Uh, oh, and um, so far talking to Galil, and they haven't seen any sign of him yet. So right. just letting you know. Yeah, um, keep me posted. Um, <clears throat> I, I think we're okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, they'll keep a they'll keep a lookout in the woods for. Okay. Appreciate it. Make sure you stay safe if we do spot him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Boys, I'll go grab it off the counter. Thank you, Kyler. Hello. As a note, you all, um, Kyler, I'm going to make a roll for you right now because it has been some time since this house uh, is technically not in the Earhart's possession. Okay, yeah, I was a little confused if if that was a thing or not. Yes, so, and yeah. by now <clears throat> they would have probably changed the locks. So I'm going to make a roll to see if they weren't fucking lazy and didn't get it done. Sure, that makes sense. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I, I that, didn't know if yep. that works for rolling. Me. Yeah, I was the same. I didn't know either. <clears throat> I'm only following with a 17 this is the Kyler you'd know <clears throat> if you come up here you're technically not supposed to be in here because <laughs> there's no longer a place you're welcome and they do know the the dwarfs are all gone however with a 17 the key surprisingly still works that you have <laughs> okay. this place all right yeah you're right I should have pinged you I'm sorry Could I got a roll from you no. before you vanish <clears throat> Sure. Well, I was technically right behind Kyler walking in, so yeah, I'm I'm technically walking in right behind his ass. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, what am uh, I rolling? Morian will be offering his prayer to this god. Uh, mm -hmm. It's connected to his storyline, and this is whether or not he gains any idea of where to go next. I wouldn't be able, in regards to the, your next destination, to the Pilgrim Travel? Is that what you're asking? Um, or... More just in general, where he might be needed to use this hammer next, so... <clears throat> I will make a roll, but for these type of... You're seeking a vision, so to speak, or something <clears throat> of a similar na nature, correct? He's basically for me he's arrived here to the only shrine here. <clears throat> Because this is the only one he was told mm. of. So okay. he's hoping to see whether or not he'll get a response. Okay. Um, best person to reach out for this would be Bruns, not myself. Um, I can do that. But they are busy, but they are doing something. So what I'll say is I will... <clears throat> you can do it, right? Bless you. For the information and put it on your sheet. Message Bruns yeah. said you did it, and then see if something happens in your sleep. I think that would make the most sense. Would you agree? That would work for me. <clears throat> yeah. Perfect. There we go. And cards are back up in three, two, one. Right. Uh, I'm assuming you have the key still to this place. I'm going to go back down to make sure the guards don't arrest us. Yeah. Okay. Sounds yeah. like a plan. Let him right. do his thing. It might be a fucking month of travel. <clears throat> mm. well, I'm here now, so I'm hoping at some point you'll give me the direction I need for whatever it is you're wanting me to do while I'm here. But I suppose I should also offer my prayer to the past inhabitants, from what I can see. The stone hammers. May the ancestors welcome the stone hammers and their clan to the ancient halls. May their ancestors welcome them with open arms. May Gurdar smile upon them and bring honor to their hold. I, Morian Stonefist, beseech the guidance of one Gurdar 
my <clears throat> god. Was it was he who reigns above all? Morgrim. Morgrim was Stone Fist, right? What more would you ask of me? My oath. It was Stonehammer, which was Morden. Morgrim was Morgrim Stone. I will await the response as normal. Stonehammer. <clears throat> Prosperity and honor be upon you. They were both Stonehammers. Glory to those that came before and to those that will proceed. <clears throat> Thank you, lad. Of course. Um, we're not meant to be in here, but I hope you um, got what you needed to do. I appreciate it nonetheless. It's the only one I've been told of thus far. <clears throat> it's been well maintained. It's very clearly cared for. Hmm. It might be wise to remove it before anyone else decides to vandalize it. <laughs> I'll find someone who can lift it, sure. <clears throat> Thank you, Sir Erdhart, I believe was your name. Mm -hmm. I heard, uh, didn't mean to over here, but my ears pricked up at Stonefist. <clears throat> Morin Stonefist, last of his line. Ah, pleasure to meet you, I'm sorry about your line. Well, more... more last of my own hold, but that's a story for another time. I appreciate the kindness you have done and the honor you have allowed me to speak with my god, so... I feel that you should be aware, given the last time we met was either end of a opposing force. Your father has gotten himself quite the reputation and quite the hefty bounty on his head. I'm going to assume, by the actions of his son, that he himself is one of honorable stock, so <clears throat> I, at the very least, will not bother to seek this bounty, but know that it is quite hefty. Well, my honor has come from him. He is probably the most honorable person I know. You're joking. So, but I do appreciate it. And apparently they need him for some reason to sign off. It's not any bother of so mine, lad. If ever you need a merc, you'll be able to find me at the merc guild. Simply post a job, or if you wish to private hire, I'm always available. Appreciate it. Anywhere my hammer can swing is where you'll find me. New Smith. <laughs> Better not be getting me into yes. fucking trouble. Apparently... <clears throat> Apparently he went into the Merchant's Guild and they said that they won't allow it and for some reason they need your stamp on it. <clears throat> Not sure why. Sure. So he's over there waiting for you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Shall we? <clears throat> Any news from uh, Mersk? From the Mercs? No. I guess you didn't hear me. That's fine. I don't think they did. He's on his way. I can never fucking remember. He's right behind you. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, it's as bad as names of places. Need to sign something? It's an Arborog Ar Ar <clears throat> fortress. Yes, the, the Merchant's Guild said you had to be in person. I couldn't bring the paperwork to you. That's fine. They want to bring a lord to the Merchant's Guild, so. <clears throat> sure. Sorry, my lord. Let yeah. us go sign the paperwork. We'll be back. And that's why I'm seeing it later. I'm just, I'm impressed that uh, mere merchants would make demands of a lord. I'm sure it's just paperwork. That's good enough. Crossing the I's and dotting the T's, <laughs> as it were. Yep. <laughs> So we so far away and uh, shit out of me. No idea. Oh, there they fucking are. Great. Took them all off. Hi there. I okay, got business. <sighs> There's an issue with my new employee. 
More like you have to sign something and I don't give the damn excuse of you being busy. It's part of the bureaucracy. Love bureaucracy. Yeah, nice. sign it in triplicate. Yeah, it needs you to sign. Ah, uh, the cosign. It's three copies. The damn. Yep. yep. <clears throat> we all have to do it. I've already signed it. He's already yeah. signed, signed his it. portion. Just needed yours, Lord Erdhart. Of course. So, perfect. In that case, everything is squared away. So, is there anything else that you are needing? No, not currently. Not until I get things Good. up and running. Uh, when when does the <sighs> come around for checking for uh, prices happen? Morning, afternoons, evenings? Morning, afternoons. Usually you have to be... There's not a finer house you can side with. Is that so? Alright, I'll be back around hey. those times then, once once <clears throat> things are up and running. Hey there, yep. Do be sure to have silver on you. Evening. Yes. Or day. I don't know. Well, I'll track of time. Alright, that's all squared uh, away. I want to thank you, sir, for your generosity of the soap. Uh, <laughs> that's all Samuel, squared my away. Name name, sir. Samuel, I am Aaron right. Wainwright, the one, the only. Okay, Mr. Wainwright. Looking forward to seeing you around town. <sighs> now the question is, should I go for the risk, my friend? What risk? Have that man make me armor. Or not, because he honestly, he seems a little... I've seen what I can do yet. Have you understand my meaning? Um, well, I mean, I don't think he's gonna break anything. Hell, I feel old. And I'm in my You 30s. say that, but the man was a little robbed five minutes after he came into the dance. I don't was, think he was prepared for notice. Mm. You take care now, alright? You as well. All right. Unless we leave him with a dog. Mm. He's screwed. Mm. There's a point in camaraderie. <clears throat> when you're in the guild. I do have that. You you're absolutely don't if you fucking leave us behind, shithead! When you're done with your dramatic sort of emotions, come back and talk to me again. Because right now, it's not dramatic. your tone I'm is not appreciated. To Morning, thing. I'm where I'm Kyla, I need to speak with you. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to finish up what you're doing. I'm done. And they're the ones who can let things go. Come. Is the door locked? Well, that's not the <clears throat> Dare I bother to ask what that was about? Well, being emotional over the idea that I rode back to notice on my horse when they were running back from Tello Keep, or walking back from Tello Keep. After we had been across every corner of the province beforehand, <clears throat> I just wanted to go back and be done with the job. Instead of waiting for them all to walk slowly back to the city. Fair enough. Forgive me if I wanted a little bit of haste. Now. What can I do for you? What I wanted to talk to you about. Is <clears throat> I want to know. Have you had any contact with the, the old man? No. Wherever he is. I don't even know where he is. None? That's as far as I've got. Not even a single word. Nothing. I've had Coach. scouts. Scouts looking for him. Haven't found his men. Haven't found him. Nothing. He took his entire retinue. Everyone from the household. I am the only Erhard left in town. And I don't know where he is. <clears throat> well, you think he left the province, perhaps? If he left the province, then that would be basically an admission of guilt, right? If he left the province, it would look terrible for him. That would undo everything we've been trying to do up until this point. He has to be in the province somewhere, I just don't know where. I have no clue. <clears throat> so... Hmm. Have they all unanimously decided that he is guilty for the time being? 
up there in the keep. For all intents and purposes, sure. Hmm. Guilty until proven innocent. That's how Gradia is. It's worse than that, as people want him to be guilty. As soon as as soon as of they course. found the body, they called for his head, Aegon. They didn't ask him to be arrested. They wanted him killed. Like that. Before they even knew it was him. Or, or thought it was him, or any evidence came forwards. They wanted to execute him. Have you and any others been searching for any proof of innocence? We're doing our best, but leads are few and far between. Anything at all? Do you have any idea who might have done it? That wasn't him. The only thing I know is that there was a cloaked figure spotted leaving the castle. I... Hmm. That is not public knowledge, though. Um, got on a cart and... I'm past in keeping confidences. <clears throat> yeah, I know. No, they got on a cart, left. The thing is, though... Some people know this. Some of the people up there know this. But for others, it's not enough. <sighs> well... Him being there, when everything occurred, it doesn't grant him an alibi. And him not being the person who might have <clears> killed <throat> the man in the first place. Uh, they're looking for reasons, slim and far between, just to kill the man. I know it's politics. Nobles <clears throat> hate each other. And <clears throat> your father's been doing good work, but good work at a cost of enemies, I'm sure. Many. <clears throat> yes. But you... Do and now do tend to make a lot of enemies along the way. It's just how things are. Mm. You're trying to do the right thing. In a place full of people who are willing to do the wrong thing for anything. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think Arn's realizing he's having to play the game now, which is worrying, but... That is a dangerous thing to do. It's more dangerous to be the honorable person in the room all the time. Hmm. <sighs> I do, however, know something most people don't about that I describe, and I'm going to tell you, but it's also <clears throat> confidential. Things I was made privy to a while back, but nothing came of it. Sure. <sighs> I remember hearing that he was shipping out crates from a warehouse here in Nautis out to the coast to be taken by boat, barrels, boxes. The contents were bodies, people. It was a very l tightly locked operation, and from what I can tell, anyone who slipped up was dealt with. So it's very hard for anyone to have found out, save for a witness, all of which is nameless, faceless. But the word had gotten out. Shipping bodies? I do not know why. <clears throat> I can only imagine it's cover-ups. Perhaps debtors. The head scribe was known for throwing some taxes around. He was doing so in Cassetto, pretty substantially back-to-back. -back. Even after his death, people were getting harmed by it. People who cannot pay up, they disappeared. I've seen a few of those people in town. Be taken away, but never seen again. <clears throat> Do you have any proof for this? Any proof I cannot provide. So I'm afraid it cannot really help. Besides, it wouldn't get any innocence on your father's behalf. No. That only further villainizes that scribe. Gives people reason to kill him. But, but it can help me hone in on who actually did this. And if I can find who actually did this and get something out of them, then that would exonerate Arn. <clears throat> Anything. Maybe. I don't know which way this cart went. I just know it left the keep. I'm assuming it headed uh, east. But that's as far as I got. <clears throat> I'm chasing any lead I can on this right now. Hmm. I couldn't truly find out anything beyond this trail. 
I could inquire. I have connections. But I'm not entirely sure how far I can go before I perhaps put myself at risk. Because whoever did this obviously went through a lot of, well, efforts to cover it up. They were willing <clears throat> to let it all take the fall, no less. And if they're willing to kill the head scribe, well, to let someone like your father get nearly executed for it, I don't know what the motives would have truly been. Like it was you the benevolence. Said, a lot of enemies, I'm sure, for someone who would be willing to do something like that, the marshal falling on the sword of it would be f fantastic. Points the blame really far away from them, I would assume. <clears throat> Indeed. And what better than a man who wants the best? Who wants to save lives? Yeah. Kill a man takes them. It's worrisome to know that I've not heard from him, though. It's the best. That way I can't plead ignorance. No one can follow you to him. <laughs> exactly. No one can well. intercept any letters or follow me or anything like that. It's safer for him. But... As long as you know, he will not leave you here. If he wanted to do some sort of hostile action against the province, he would have asked me to rally to him. I had 30, 40 men with me willing to go and fight alongside me, but he needed me here to find out who actually did this and bring him back. That's the only reason he would leave me. <clears throat> so, I just gotta make sure he put his faith in the right person. Indeed. I think you're the right man for the job. You and Zerv both here. are not, um, well, you're not strangers to subterfuge and the like. I'm sure you could find whoever it is, try hard enough. Yeah. Well, I can't give you any more than I have. No, I appreciate it, thank you. This adds another angle to it. I suspected that the scry was either in bed with bad people or that he wasn't as much of a saint as people were making him out to be, but this kind of confirmed... Moving bodies. That's... Mm. Yes. I've heard cruel things, but that definitely is an interesting one. <clears throat> I remember at one point I had my own job. Someone hired me to deal with the slave master. That slave master in particular was drugging slaves, down there turning them insane. But it made them obedience. But they overdosed quite often. But stuffing bodies, shipping them out. Who would you even ship these bodies? It's quite <clears> a trail. I mean, why not just fucking dump That's them in struggles. the ocean? Why, why are they putting them somewhere specific, you know? Well... You kill someone here... Yeah. Bury them somewhere else. Someone finds the body somewhere else. How are they going to trace it back here? Makes sense to me. Yeah, but I mean, if you have the ability to stuff them in a barrel and take them anywhere, why are they all going to Corsetto? Why not spread them out, you know? <clears throat> What's in oh. Corsetto? Other than... Well... I don't think... I don't think they were taking the Corsetto. No? We set up not the coast. Really. They were going by boat. That's all I know. By dinghy. Uh, Obviously, they can't go far, but why would they go so close as Cassetto? Though, there was at one point I did find a... a wait. Now I think about it. They were burying them near it. We did a mercenary job a little while ago, me, Hopper, and a couple of others. We found bodies buried in barrels. People who died in Cassetto buried in the beaches nearby. So, maybe, maybe you're right. But, I don't know. I never really connected the dots. It's possible it's related crimes, but... <clears throat> such crime, he does have, or at least he did, have a lot of reach. When people on Cassetto Dick harmed quite a bit. Hmm. Still strange, though. Mm. I don't know. If you find anything, let me know. I can't help. Well, can't hurt, I suppose. The night that this all occurred, I'm not sure if it was your father or the perpetrator, but I heard two cards leave north. 
They went past my house. Straight through the middle of town. Two cars. Or at least one cart and a bunch of horses. That would be the red new. But a cart definitely <clears throat> left. Maybe. But it was at different times. They weren't all together. The cart passed by my house. I don't know what time. I was in my house. Well, you know where it is. It's right next by the bakery, center of town. Mm -hmm. I pretty much hear everything that goes by my house at night. People talking, walking by. I can somehow sleep. Mm. But there was one cart that definitely passed by. I could hear it. It was in a rush. A cart on unsteady street makes a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. All I know is it went past my house. So if it did, it didn't go up northeast. It probably went northwest. Maybe that could help you. Maybe there's a trail up northwest. That's a couple of days old at this point, but sure. I'll send some scouts out so we can find. <sighs> Anything helps at this point. Truthfully, truthfully, I was worried about who actually did it, and more so if your father is alive. There's a lot of dangerous shit out there, wherever he is. Well, more orcs by the day. He wouldn't just be camped out in the woods, he'll be somewhere fortified. He's got well trained men with him. Elena Crenshaw. Uh, I mean, I, I don't doubt he's alive, I just... I don't know what kind of state he's in. I think whatever he's dealing with out there is probably minimal <clears throat> compared to everything else you, me, and everyone else has been through up until this point. He'll be fine. Yeah. At least he's not alone. That yeah. is a great amount of solace. True. True. I was wondering where Luna was. It's good to know that he's got at least her with him. Fish yeah. woman. <laughs> Capable. No, she'll keep him safe. <clears throat> Just means that the house is pretty empty, you know. I'm glad he at least left Tiberius here with you. Tiberius you wasn't even around and he got his ass fucking arrested. <sighs> By association, until otherwise. You know this. Yeah, I got called in too. Those guys... You almost brought me in, because I mentioned I knew the Lord in you. But I talked my way out of it. Yeah, you know, the guards interrogating me are about to use malice on me. Malice. Uh, the really painful shit, right? It's a poison, though more of an acid than anything. Mm. I don't know, it just well, proves to me that... To with many times before. It just... proves that those people up there, those the guards and the royal guards, aren't all fucking sunshine and rainbows. <clears throat> Even with the Custode in charge? Custode has a group of men that are definitely loyal to him, I know that much, but it seems the Royal Guards are a little... I don't know, off kilt. <clears throat> I wouldn't trust them. Well... Not everybody remaining in the Guards with Heart of Capitano's men, but I'm sure a few of them are just quieter than the rest. Cruel and quiet. I wouldn't be surprised, and some guards are dirty, and we sure not, oftentimes have no choice but to be dirty. Yeah, I know. That's the way I've always seen it. <laughs> but it's good to custode. I saw him escorting you back to our house, assuming he, he's keeping an eye on you, you and yours. Yes. He was a little concerned that uh, I wasn't going to make it home, I guess, so <clears throat> it was nice of him. Mm. It is. You have nothing short of allies in the city. At least in this area of town. <sighs> trying to. Trying to rally the forces, so to speak, but I just... Some people just talk, man. Some people just fucking talk. Don't feel like you can trust some people because they can't keep their tongue quiet. I feel like I can't trust them and I just... They don't get it. It's like they're on a completely mm. different 
I don't want to say level because that sounds arrogant, but it, they just they're not in the same room, you know. Thinking about they don't understand stuff. what you're dealing with. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. <clears throat> I understand. For a long time, it took me maybe half a decade after my freedom from the Prova to actually get my shit together. Judge, the way he behaves, it's not too far off how I was. I was, I wasn't very knowledgeable, no education. I knew how to talk, I know a lot of big words. But I made sure to get quite an education afterwards. Come more articulate, less like a boring idiot, if it were. So if no one does understand, I can tell you I do. I understand completely. Mm. I had my own enemies following the prover. Yeah. Woe the enemies that you have. And Todd Baron. Still. I probably have to kill him eventually, but you know, that's just how it is. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. I appreciate you bringing to me what you can. We'll uh, do stuff with it if we can find anything out. Hey, Tibbs. All I'm saying is... All I'm saying is carefully, of course. As well, the information may not have been much help, per se, in narrowing down a suspect. Whoever they were, had resources. Uh, probably not dread knives. They wouldn't do shit like this. But whoever they are, they're not your friend. That much is obvious. Mm hmm. That's clear. Yes. But <clears throat> I'll see what I can find out, but I will have to be careful. Yeah, don't risk yourself. Because I don't want to be on the other end of a night. Well, like the scribe was. Mm hmm. I appreciate it, Aegon. I do. Of course. Royalty and death, not just to your father. Huh? It's an extension to you as well. So you ever need. You well, you already know. If you need my help, I'll be more than willing. Appreciate it. Thanks. <sighs> because. Despite everything, if you go down, what chances do I have? Hmm? You can just slip away, I'm kind of stuck here. <laughs> Maybe. But I've run away before, and I still regret it. And I'm not fighting my way out of an entire city full of enemies, that much is sure. I'm good, but not that good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna mull over this a bit. See if it means anything. Mm. Do appreciate it, thank you. I'm going to see if there's any details I might be missing from what I recollected. I think at least that I can do. Because while I was told things, I fear I might have left out some things by accident. Yeah, I mean... Memory's not perfect. Take your time, we're not <laughs> going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> Indeed. Unfortunately. Did you all have any plans to leave the province before this happened? Or were you pretty much hard stuck in remaining? Uh, I mean, nothing short of our original plan. Hmm. Well... If any of you have a reason to go out towards Luxor or Zeneca at west, do let me know. Sure. What's well, a good old visit to home? <clears throat> Take it easy, Aegon. Various. Oh, uh, well. <clears throat> yep. Do I even want to ask what that was about? It's a little, uh, extra information on that scribe that got murked that they pinned on our own. Mm. Nothing that really helps us, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're looking for a moon change, I came across a 
the market. Found it what? Oh, I found something interesting in the market. <clears throat> Got my attention. Go on. Take a look. Apparently, Wainwright was selling an old trinket of sorts. The symbol of the old trinity. Huh. I've seen drawings of this in the books. Hmm. You even have an amethyst engra engraved into it and everything. See the symbols of Astagon, Lundor, and Ewan being in the center of focus. <laughs> wonder where he got this from. Hmm. Apparently, it came with this. Some sort of authentic... parchment proving its authenticity. That he was there that day. Not sure who it belongs to, but maybe you can find it out. Just one moment. Find the man himself to confirm the name. Forget it. Yeah. Apparently says authenticity of uh, Commander Edgar Gallant. Uh, you're looking at the writing. It's hard to tell right now, so it's just a simple glance if it's real or not. For it to be all the way out here with this, uh, maybe not the best of odds, but still something different and unique to say the least. Hmm. Well, it's interesting if it's real. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, not caught my eye. Couldn't help myself. Usually <laughs> on, I usually don't never buy these types of things. Takes you back. Hmm. Those were very good times. <clears throat> Can't even imagine what that's like. Well, we had our own misfortunes enough, don't get me wrong, but it was a very rare sight to see. Yeah, I bet. I mean, two yeah. decades ago. God. Well, it wasn't even that. The fact that we had three nations join hands willingly to assist each other. The miles you could see through as far as I could see of soldiers moving about. Your jeans from dwarves and elves that had gathered. We thought we were going to win it all. Nothing could stop us. <laughs> you mean live alongside them for so long you forget how terrible the Imperial actually is. Well, it just depends on the scars, Kyler. Depends on the scars. Anyways. Found that. Maybe if you want to use it for something, be my guest. <clears throat> Do it in a moment. did have to trade your old, your father's old leather armor to acquire it, though, that you gave me, so. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he's, I don't think he's using it. <laughs> well, I did pay for it to be replaced, so, I mean. Yeah. Hmm. Either or. 
Yeah. Keep it for now. <laughs> you sure? Why not? I have the memory of the seeing them embedded into flags. I have something physical. That's rare. Keep it up here. <laughs> you think it's possible to get back, um, though? I feel like it's not impossible. The old trinity... ...could still stand again. With the right voices, the right people. <coughs> On one well, hand, it just depends how much damage. Oh, Twenty years, mm. Tibbs, for primarily humans. It's basically a lifetime to those who are young. Yeah. And the Imperium rolled over them when they're at their strongest. Got to try that, right? know anything about the Imperium. They've always been ones to dabble in the more nefarious of things. Hmm. Everything okay? Uh, well.